The whole concept started with the idea of a leadership lab where you take students and you give them a goal and total freedom on how they're going to achieve that goal. So these four students applied and were accepted into what we called the refresh committee and they were the ones who made the decisions and came up with all the ideas and the whole project was really their own. Our goals were to make it homey, add some greenery, bright, open, make it super welcoming overall. We, we felt like it was now time to make it more of our own. We wanted to have a space where we all felt like we could be together. We also wanted it to be multifunctional so we could eat in there, like have um, group dinners, worship, small group, play games, things like that. Hello, my name is Kate Dinwiddie. I'm an eighth grader at Mountainside Middle School, and I've been going to the church my whole life, but I've been in youth group for two years now. I decided to apply for Refresh because I wanted to get more involved with the youth group. Okay, so when you first walk in, we have this little entryway over here. We have a bin for you to put your shoes, and we added these coat racks. Um, we also put in this shelving, which is used for many purposes like to store our Bibles. We'll also be putting notebooks here and just like a bunch of knickknacks and stuff. Then moving on we have these cork boards that we're going to use to like put upcoming events, things like that. And we also have these hands that everyone in the youth group made to like make them a part of the space. Hi my name is Ellie McDonald. I'm an eighth grader at Mountainside. I've been attending this church for eight years. Wow. Uh, and I started coming to youth group two years ago. I applied to Refresh because I really love interior design. I love hanging out with my friends and uh, I thought this would be a really fun project, especially because I'm not the kind of person that has a lot of after school activities. So this kind of gave me something to look forward to and be excited about. Moving on, we have the whole seating area. We added in a bunch of new pillows, rugs, blankets. Um, we also took out some old furniture that we didn't need anymore. Behind me right here, we added these two pictures of the people of the youth group who are currently attending to also like include them in the whole space. Um, we also have this TV stand that we put together to store a bunch of the TV stuff. Um, also, the wall color is different. We painted this to like a grayish purple before it was like this teal, dark teal color. And we also added these lights up above to just like add more lighting because we thought it needed it. We also have this new couch that we bought. And our plan is when we're doing like small group or this is like giving a talk, we are going to scoop this in to make a complete circle. Back here, we added these bean bags, a nice little sitting area. Um, we got these new bean bags. We repurposed this table right here and painted it. I am Isaac Kiwa. I am an eighth grader at Mountainside Middle School. Um, I've grown up at this church, been here pretty much my whole life. When we had to buy stuff of like the wisest way to use our money, I, it, I felt like it was more of would people would other people use this would we like it more of like a, a we community sense rather than i or us um for the kitchen we bought a new fridge and we repainted this table and bought a coffee pot and water dispenser and microwave and then a bunch of stuff to use with all of the stuff i just told you we also bought a mug rack which i really like and various people from the congregation donated uh, donated us mugs um, to use for like hot chocolate and tea and stuff. And then we bought and painted cabinets, bought and stained a butcher block for the countertop and hardware, and then installed it. Big props to Josiah for that. Um, we also restained the cross, which is actually the same stain as this. And we got this leather board. And this, we plan on using this. There's actually a bunch of storage stuff like plastic plates and silverware and stuff down here and that's our snack cupboard and we're planning on using this for like the monthly dinners to be able to like have a line of like food for getting pizza and drinks and whatever. Okay so this is the bathroom. 
Um, we just painted it. It was, I don't remember what color it was actually, but now it's white and we added some shelves, um, a rug, and a mirror. And that is pretty much all. The fourth and fifth grade room. We also did not do much. We actually did not paint here. This was the only room that we didn't paint. We did paint the TV stand and mounted the TV. It was just sitting on top of it. We rearranged the furniture because to make it more functional. Um, and we we hung up these lights. I'm AJ Seidel. I'm in eighth grade at Mountainside Middle School. I've been here, I've been at the church pretty much my entire life. And I've been in youth group for about two years. I just wanted to be a part of helping change things up and have an input on things. This is our storage room, also known as the clutter room. But as you can see, it's still kind of a mess, but a lot better. We have, we've organized all of the shelves, which we repainted, and we got rid of a bunch of stuff that was just clogging up the clutter room and just making it cluttered. Then across the hall here, we have Riss's office. We didn't do a whole lot to this room, mostly just painted it and reorganized her cabinets for her. What do you feel like you've learned through the process? There is a whole lot of stuff that goes into changing an entire room. I remember in like March, we had this whole calendar on Rissa's whiteboard in our office of all of the dates of everything we were gonna do. And it was like, we were gonna be done in like four months. And then that of that happened. A lot of the times things that we had planned in our head didn't work when we saw it in the space. The execution wasn't how we thought it was gonna be. So we had to figure something out and try to improvise on the spot. And I think that's a really important thing to have as a leader is being able to adjust to hard or uncomfortable situations. My favorite memory from Refresh was probably painting the whole place. It was really fun. Um, we got to invite some people from the youth group to also come and help us, and it was a really fun time. A huge thank you to everyone that has been in this space before us. We've tried to keep a lot of the sentimental things in here, um, kind of keep them present because this is a special space not only to us, but to the people before us. And um, yeah, I can't wait for everybody to see and I'm really excited. And to grow closer with, to, ah, I'm sorry. That's all, I won't say anything else. AJ, do you want Refresh to be over? No, Refresh is amazing. Yeah, are we done? Yeah. Good job, Riss. I spent the summer like